What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash of the Dark. Today, we're checking out the Town Hall 12 Drag Bat Attack, but we also have a new strategy to show you where we're gonna take all the components of the Drag Bat Attack, but we're gonna replace all the bats with skeletons. I don't know what to call it. Maybe a skeleton spell dragon attack, but it's really cool and we're gonna be checking it out first before we head into the Nova Mao Do One Hive War for the Champion Worthy Elite Division. I've got a lot of amazing drag bat attacks to show you here and then I'm gonna be doing one live. So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's go check out the drag bat attack in detail. But first, let's go check out this crazy skeleton spell dragon attack. All right, guys, here's the base that the guys over at Psycho Gaming took out for their Clan War League. So thanks again for sharing this attack with us so we can all enjoy this beautiful attack. So look at this crazy army composition here. We have 10 skeleton spells with the rage. That's going to be the first phase of the attack. Second is going to be the heroes with the wall wrecker. And then the third phase will be the dragons with the lava hound, a couple balloons, and then a few support hogs. You're going to see them come in key as we go into this attack. So let's look at the base here. So as you can see on this base, here we have all the splash damage on one side of the base we have three multi infernos and we have all the wizard towers and they are split to the opposite side of the base as the queen the cc and the town hall so if i decided i wanted to charge in this base at that town hall with my heroes and try to take out the cc the queen the king the town hall i would be limited on how much of that i could get because my queen would get locked up on what is very likely a lava hound that would stop people from being able to get full suey value as they charge in that town hall so to avoid that he sees that since there's no splash damage that is covering this compartment he can just blow that up with a rage or a rage and then a whole bunch of skeleton spells all in this area here and then those skeleton spells will spread like crazy and the key to that is if the clan castle is destroyed by the skeleton spells which by the way skeleton spells do not pull cc troops out of the cc then it would never actually deploy after the clan castle's down when the when the clan castle dies the cc troops will die with them you'll take out the queen you'll take out all the expos and then we'll take out the grand warden statue so a lot of damage taken out here to make so when the heroes go in the pretty much just the king is gonna be able to step up and take out the town hall while the queen goes after air defenses and as soon as the king is tanking right here he can have a couple hog snipe that air defense so then the dragons will have free reign to move across the other side of the base and we'll go see in action right now let's go check it out all right guys here we go so he's gonna open it up with the skeleton spell bomb but he's gotta wait for the queen to actually be standing inside of that compartment if she's on the outside of that compartment like she is right now then she would get missed and she would draw the aggro of the skeletons and make them beat to the wall and exit that compartment and go right into that inferno and get roasted so try to avoid that make sure she's actually standing in the compartment that you're bombing and then we can go in and send in the heroes after the cc is destroyed otherwise the cc troops will deploy and they will distract our hero and our heroes are not going to get as much value as we want them to get so he sends in the king with the wall wrecker all by themselves there and then he sends in the queen to go off on the flank and she's going to step up and get that air defense he has a lot of extra tanking in the middle there from all the skeleton spells that are still working so he's going to take some of the fire off of his king off of his pekka and ice golem that came out of his cc as they dive into the town hall and then they can start to work their way up. The queen is going to be forming the funnel for the dragons on the edge. And she took out the air defense. So that works out perfectly. The king, after he takes down the town hall, he's going to be responsible for tanking for the hogs as they go in and take out that air defense on the nine o'clock corner. So queen is going to pop her ability here. Funnel is formed and he's ready to start the dragon. So the dragons can start sweeping in. He's going to be moving into an air defense relatively soon here. So he wants to start a hound to make sure he has some tanking for these dragons as they move through. They don't have any special spell support so it's very important that we're going to be able to protect them as they move through and reduce the damage off of them that means he also needs to get down that eagle artillery so he doesn't have any damage coming into him from that because a sweeper is keeping him away from that eagle artillery so you're going to see how he deals with that in just a moment here last dragon comes down up at the 130 area to clear the trash on the outside to keep those dragons centered warrant ability to protect them as they move through and he doesn't quite have that air defense on the backside dealt with here comes the last of the hogs here to go into the core of the base here and snipe off the eagle artillery they're outside of the range of the defenses there and they're inside the range of the eagle artillery so nothing can touch them they get the eagle down and he has a couple hasted balloons coming in the backside to snipe off that last air defense even finds a black mine and there are a ton of dragons left a couple minions came down to help with the cleanup and even the hogs have joined the force here and push into the final area of the base here so many dragons left an overpowering attack and a really really cool 
cool one. So thanks again to the guys over at Psycho Gaming. Make sure you go over there, check out the channel and subscribe. There's a link for it in the description below and in the, the pinned comment. So go check it out, guys. All right, guys, the first drag bad attack that we're looking at today is coming in from none other than Neon Waves. Neon Waves, one of the leaders of One Hive and one of the experts at this attack. So she's coming in with the king on one side, the queen on the other. You can put the heroes together if there's a good spot to use an E-drag to form the funnel on one side of the base. But when there's not, you just want to send in the king on one side, the queen on the other. And as long as they don't pull the CC, then you should be okay. Unfortunately, the king ends up pulling the CC. This Tessa pops here and his uh, spawn barbarians there run around the corner and go inside of the CC range to go after it and he decides he wants to break through a wall and he luckily breaks through the wall and goes after an air defense but unfortunately that's going to leave all the trash buildings up over here and I would rather finish the funnel then I would reduce that little bit of damage off of the dragon it is more important that the dragons stay together and pierce into the core of the base than if you have some of them split off but she has a plan for the CC in case she pulled it because there was always that risk being that the CC range was overlapping outside of the base so she brought an archer to lure the hound off into the corner and now she's not going to have to deal with it now the dragons can push in. She'll have a rage and a warden ability to get through that town hall. And then she can push into the core of the base here. Once everything possible is tanked, she'll send in the bats and she'll have a couple freezes to protect those bats as they move through. On top of that, because the starting position for the bats is near the eagle artillery, she can freeze up the eagle as well. You got to be careful for whatever reason, the eagle artillery really, really likes bats and it will go after them. So she can freeze up the eagle artillery and the bats or me and the wizard tower together to make sure she can get them down one more freeze to protect those bats a couple bats split into the outside clearing through archer towers cannons teslas everything on the outside there one more freeze to go into the final area here misses that freeze unfortunately so that's the spurn on a second one there but the bats were well enough protected and they were moving in a big enough pack there that we we're able to move through and finish it off an ice golem comes down to distract the last wizard tower but you do got to make sure that you do not miss your freezes when you're trying to span that gap there to hit a Islanded Wizard Tower and or excuse me, an Islanded Inferno and a Wizard Tower together. You got to make sure that your freezes are on point. Just a very, very slight mistake there, and you could lose the entire Bat Swarm. So luckily, she freezes the Wizard Tower in, in that mistake there and missed the Inferno instead of the other way around because you can survive a little bit through the Inferno and you will lose some Bats pretty fast, but you don't lose the whole pack in one shot like you would with a Wizard Tower. So Neon Waves coming in here. The Dragons were able to step over there and clear up the trash that was left behind where the king was supposed to go and the bat wave got more than enough value to push these dragons through the base so beautiful attack and that's a three star for one hive all right, guys, next up, we got Kuba CZ doing things a little bit differently here, not using the heroes to funnel. Going to be funneling with some other troops here. So on the bottom side, he sees that there is a bowler bounceable mortar there that he can take out with just one bowler. So a very cheap funnel on that side, better than wasting a hero. And with the CC right there, you don't want your heroes pulling that CZ so you don't have to deal with it. On the other side, an E-drag with a couple balloons, take out the Tesla and the Archer Tower. And now the E-drag is going to be able to move on and finish the funnel there. Before it starts getting shot by the air defense, though, we start the dragons we send in a hound because we're starting into an air defense and we want to make sure that we can get that air defense down without get my dragons taking excessive amounts of damage so now the king comes down and he's going to be able to clear everything on the outside of the base there keep an eye on that cc range as he works his way along that side of the base there keeping the dragon centered and pushing them towards the infernos the queen comes in on the other side and she's going after the wizard tower on the top side once again clearing some trash he sends in the stone slammer to go after the inferno at three o'clock and he can work his way into the eagle artillery but he's going to have the bats to go help out with that as well we want the bats to go after the eagle artillery if the dragons are not going straight for it we're going to freeze up that inferno did lose a lot of the bats there with that inferno and we want to make sure we get those freezes down nice and early so we don't lose so many bats there otherwise you just wasted an entire bat spells off of three ticks of that or well, three or four ticks of that inferno and you lose like an entire bat spell so might as well just freeze as soon as you start losing bats then get it through so we lost so many bats there so the dragons end up having to do most of the work here the bats didn't really get that much but the dragons were funneled very 
very, very nicely. They were hitting all defenses as they were moving through, and it's exactly what you want to make dragons work really, really well. If dragons have a good funnel and you can keep them tight and mostly on just defenses, then they're going to go through and wreck a base. As soon as they split to the outside and they get stuck on trash, then they're done. They're pretty much over, especially if the Eagle Artillery is still standing and beating down on them while they're trying to take their time and get back to the defenses. So Kuba CZ going in here and smashing this base. We got one more to go look at, and then we're going to do the live attack. So, uh, yeah, I said that too fast. Now we're now we're going. Now we're going. <laughs> Kuba CZ is all done here. All right, guys, the next one we're looking at has the Town Hall and the Eagle very, very, very spread apart. And we'll see how that could potentially cause some problems here as he has the Baby Dragon and a couple balloons there coming in to funnel the Queen to push her off to the right. Her job is to go through with this Ice Golem and clear all the trash as far as they can get on the right side of the base and make so that the Dragons, when they shoot through the Town Hall, are going to have a straight shot into the base. So he still needs to form the funnel on the other side. So he sends in a couple balloons there. They're going to get crash damage onto the barracks as they hit that uh, mortar and they're going to be able to take out that whole area there now we can have the king come down the king's going to work his way through the trash he's going to have to fight through that enemy king and then he'll be able to continue down this side of the base and clear as much trash as they can on that side so the queen steps up she's going to get the wizard tower there she's going to get the cannon she'll get the warden statue and she'll get the queen almost doesn't quite get her down so the king is going to beat on the king for just a minute there as soon as his health is right at the point where he'll go back to full health when he pops his ability he'll hit it there we go now we can start to surge along that side of the base now the dragons are set up to go in he's starting into an air defense so he wants to make sure that he can get that air defense down without it causing too much damage so he has that lava hound he has a balloon going after to just verify no black mines are in that area so we can send the stone slammer does find a black mine and he's ready to charge into the base so the first comes the hound and then he misses the placement of the stone slammer and doesn't have it go after the inferno which causes a lot of problems here we're going to see what kind of problems that is going to cause as he drives into the base there he has a cc pull there he's got just a couple archers to deal with it the king never went into the range of the cc so a hound that was in there never comes out he's got a dragon over there trying to fight off the enemy queen over at the 12 o'clock corner and try to get his way into that inferno but unfortunately goes down so he has to change plans here and the sweeper here is knocking him to the trash definitely needed something on the bottom side of this base here to go in and clear this trash to get these dragons back in action he changes plans here sends in the bath to take out the inferno that was missed and have them sweep through the center of the base so unfortunately he's going to almost lose a lot of his bats there to the wizard tower freezes up just in time but he's out of freezes and the dragons have now broken into the trash on the outside so always be mindful of sweepers knocking your dragons back into the trash because if they get knocked back they get onto the trash and then the eagle artillery being so far from the dragon's position and the bats unfortunately were not able to start on the drag or on the on the eagle artillery like he originally planned and so he's got a lot of base left here and the eagle artillery is still beating down on him so it was a very close attack here but urban legend is going to come out on uh, not with a three star on this one because he ended up time failing. So 93% had enough force, almost recovered it, but ultimately came out with a time fail. So we can see some of the problems there that you're going to be trying to avoid when you go to do your drag bat attacks. May Make sure that you clear enough trash, especially where the dragons are going to be pushed by the sweeper. So with that, let's head over to a live attack because I've got troops cooked up and I'm ready to go hit a base on my own. All right, guys, troops are all cooked. I think we're ready to do this. Here's the base that we're attacking. So I noticed on this base here, above the town hall, there's not a lot of air targeting defenses up there, and there are a lot of storages. And when I see storages and not a lot of air defenses, I think e-drags i think if i go in and just put a couple e-drags up by this archer tower here then i'll be able to have them go in get some chains off the storages and clear that whole side of the funnel two e-drags should do the trick for the bottom side of the funnel i want my king to start in the workshop and i want him to go towards nine o'clock i want my queen to step up at six o'clock take out the archer tower the air defense and the wizard tower and form that side of the funnel then we'll shoot the dragons through the town hall two rages to carry them through and we'll have the bats i got six bats and three freezes to come in from 12 o'clock and see if we can sweep the rest of the base i've got good freeze points where i'm going to be able to freeze wizard towers and infernos together and smooth those and move those paths through smoothly so we're going live in three two one let's go all right so 
We're going to start it off with the king. I want him to go left. I want my queen to go right. So she should step up and take out the archer tower and the gold mine before the king has a chance to go to the right. And they'll keep him away from the CC range. So we'll get the E-drags moving up here. And let them step up in those storages and start getting some chains deep into the base there. Clearing that whole side of the funnel. Keeping those dragon pathing very narrow. Pop that queen ability. And we should... Oh, she didn't go to the wizard tower. Hopefully that doesn't cause any problems with the bats here. And she might pull the CC. So let's get ready to drop an archer. And uh, looks like my E-drags are doing a good job up there. We'll start the stone slammer to go and tank for that air defense here. Looks like we did pull the CC. So we'll do the archer over here. And that uh, doesn't matter. We have the barbarians and the king up in that area. We have the dragon sweeping through. Let's see if we can get into this town hall. We'll get a rage down to get these dragons raged up on the approach. We don't want to take too much damage from the town hall on the approach here. We'll get ready for, looks like the tornado trap popped there. And we'll get the warden ability now. We missed a couple of the dragons with the warden ability because he wouldn't step up all the way. But they didn't seem to get hit by the blast. We'll get another rage down as we move into the queen. But the E-Drags did some great work on the top side there. Cleared a lot. So we'll get ready for the bats to come in from 12. I want to wait for the expos to be tanked. We're good. Let's go. One more freeze. Make sure we freeze early so we don't lose any bats to the ticks of that uh, inferno as we make our approach. So a couple balloons to snipe out this air defense and probably should have waited a little bit longer on those balloons so they didn't take so much damage from the inferno. But they did get their defense, keeping the damage off of the dragon there, even though the bats probably would have taken anyways. Probably could have thrown those balloons almost anywhere. Pretty much swagged them. But either way, we got tons of bats left and the base is all down. Looking like a three star. We've absolutely crushed it. Oh my gosh, we just almost one shot of that uh, lava hound. That was crazy. Crazy. We're going to burn through those pups in a heartbeat there. And with uh, three dragons and a one of the biggest bat wave uh, swarms there remaining, we have absolutely crushed this one. And that's going to be an easy three star one hive versus Mao Do. Awesome. So with the addition of that three star, we are able to secure the win here. We won 63 to 59 against Nova Maudo, landing 13 three stars versus their nine in this 25 versus 25 man Town Hall 12 war. So great war to Nova Maudo. Had a lot of fun with it. And we wrecked some bases with the drag bat. And that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed these attacks. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.